Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Mike Philibert at Heritage Presbyterian Church for morning prayer. I just want to say good morning to several people who've been stopping by and being involved in our prayer for Mi Koi in Korea, um, for Jonelle, for Natalie. Um, glad you all are be able, able to be, be involved. Somebody had asked me to continue to put things for devotions on, just make recommendations. And so uh, I have another one. This was recently published. It's a, um, it's a study on Proverbs. It's actually written for young, young, young folks, um, primarily young men, but it also is very adaptable to young women. And uh, a friend of mine named Mark Horn put this out just recently. I re even did a book review on it and so forth. Uh, very uh, well done and useful. And so uh, here's an example, just one line on page 73. The way of freedom and independence is to love one's wife and build her up and be built up by her. It's really a, a very insightful, useful uh, volume, um, especially if you're looking to understand Proverbs and help your kids, um, your teenagers to understand. So I would recommend that. Well, this morning for morning prayer, we're going to be doing uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. 1 Peter 4, 1 through 6. And then uh, we'll pray through that and some folks in our church and missionaries. And then I want to pray for Afghanistan. And I'll explain that in the prayer. 1 Peter 4, 1 through 6. Oops, let me get to the right page here. <laughs> Since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves with the same way of thinking. For whoever has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, so as to live for the rest of the time in the flesh, no longer for human passions, but for the will of God. For the time that is past suffices for doing what the Gentiles want to do, living in sensuality, passions, drunkenness, orgies, drinking parties, and lawless idolatry, with respect to this, they are surprised when you do not join them in the same flood of debauchery and they malign you. But they will give an account. They will give account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For this is why the gospel was preached even to those who are dead, that though judged in the flesh the way people are, they might live in the spirit the way God does. 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. Let's pray. Well, Lord, our God, we do not like to suffer, and yet, Lord, um, you are with us in the suffering, and um, we are able to um, grow even in suffering because of the spirit you've given us and the fellowship we have in Christ, and so we pray that if it is your will and necessary for us to do so, that we would do so with the right heart and the right mind and the right attitude. We pray, Lord God, um, that you would help us to not walk as the Gentiles do in sensuality, passions, drunkenness, orgies, drunken part, drinking parties, and lawless idolatry. Instead of this, Lord, that we would follow the one who is coming to judge the living and the dead, the one who uh, saved his people and rescued them. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who suffered in the flesh for us and for our salvation. Lord, we pray that you would be with uh, the single folks in our church. There are many who are widowed and there are others who have never been married. We ask you, Lord God, that you would hold them uh, in your hands, that you would comfort them and agree to them, uh, bless them, Lord, and fill them with good things. We ask you, oh Lord God, that um, they would know that, that you do love them, that they are just as valuable as anyone else in our church and they would thrive here. We pray, Lord, for the berries who uh, work with Surge in Peru. We ask you to uh, continue to be with them and their team. We pray for the funds and the, the resources, the people. We ask you, Lord, that you would bless their work, that the gospel would go forward, and people would be made disciples of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we ask that you be with um, Andrew and Renzi and their kids. We ask you to shower them with your goodness and bless them, keep them well, and, and preserve their home with peace. We pray for Ting, and uh, her sister, Butch, we ask you that you would watch over them, smile upon them, that they would know that you're with them. Keep them in good health, Lord God, and preserve and protect them. 
Well, Lord God, we pray for the country of Afghanistan, especially as right now uh, America is pushing hard for them to be in peace talks with the Taliban. Lord God, you know uh, what goes on behind closed doors. You know what goes on in darkened hearts, in uh, secret places. You know what thoughts people have. Uh, there's nothing that is hidden from you. And so, Lord God, we pray that where there is evil lurking in the shadows, that you would expose it and that you would bring that which is best to bear. We do pray for a true, substantial, health-giving, uh, sustaining peace for the country of Afghanistan, for the end of, the end of um, violence and bloodshed. We pray that that would be the case. Lord God, we ask you, we beg you, we implore you to superintend uh, all of this and um, that you would bring forward a way to um, some sense of solidarity and solidity in that country. And Lord God, I pray finally for this afternoon um, teaching the Capital Bible Study. I pray for all of those who will be involved through Zoom and other ways that you would bless them, that they would be enriched. Help me as I teach that class that uh, time this, morning, this, this afternoon, Lord. Father, thank you that we can pray. Thank you for uh, the mighty and good things that you do for us. Thank you for your grace, that you give more grace, that you are the God who resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, we'll be back tomorrow with more. If there's other books you would like to have recommended or other topics uh, to see if there's any books maybe I've read that I can make some recommendations, leave them in the comments. If you have prayer requests, leave them in the comments. Send me a message, all those kinds of things. Uh, give me a thumbs up also or a smile or a heart, whatever, as you've done this, as you maybe have participated in um, morning prayer, if it has blessed you. Well, until tomorrow, the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.